this was the scene at the Willow Run Apartments on Dolphin Island Parkway this morning. Seven people have been forced out of their home after the complex went up in flames. It's a big story right now at 10. One man escaped the flames by jumping off a second floor balcony. Local 15's Christina Verjeko is live on Dolphin Island Parkway from that complex tonight. Christina. Greg, a very dramatic morning here and right now to tell us all about it is actually Bratton Rainey. He is the owner of the complex. Now, Bratton, what scene did you come to today, this morning? Well, when I arrived, the building was fully engulfed. Um, I don't know, there was probably eight or nine fire trucks on scene and they were fighting it. So you were saying you were shocked to see just how much of the building was engulfed, right? Oh, yeah. Historically, you know, you may have a grease fire and it's isolated to one apartment and for whatever reason, this spread throughout the building. Now, you were also telling me re residents were left to scramble to try to get out for safety. What ways did they do that? Yeah, well, uh, naturally some left through the staircase, but um, some were trapped and had to shimmy down the poles on the other side of the porch. Um, I think one gentleman slipped and uh, was taken to the hospital, but it was um, released soon after that. But the, there is good news tonight, right? Oh, yeah. No one was really injured. And so despite the loss of everyone's belongings and the damage to the building, fortunately nobody was injured. And uh, this building is quite a historic building. It's been in your family for a while now, right? Yeah, my father uh, built it, I think, uh, around 1960. and. It's been in the family ever since. Survived hurricanes, but not this fire, right? Yeah, that's right. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Now, all of the residents that were living here are now working to be rehomed by the same owners that we spoke to just a minute ago. So, good news, nobody got hurt tonight. Reporting live in Mobile County, Christina Svergeco, Local 15 News. Chris